Great, great news. So three weeks after Hurricane Ian destroyed parts of southwest Florida, many residents in Sanibel and Captiva Island are either finally able to get back home today. And when I was looking at this, I was like, wait, yeah. I thought they'd already done the bridge. It was but temporary. It was actually the first responders that right. were over this initial bridge exactly. where they made the minor repairs. Now, this is a, an opportunity for the residents to get yes, back to their finally. homes and their properties. It's really such an important marker in the milestone for recovery. Our own Fox Weathers, Brandy Campbell's taking the Fox Weather Beast to Sanibel Island um, to get a look at what is happening there and what folks are sort of returning to, some of them for the first time. Mm. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people, they've had the opportunity to come here since Wednesday, and a lot of them, they might be finding this, a lot of vegetation, browned, dead. As you can see, a lot of trees are down. We're actually on a property of a resident that actually wrote it out here. Um, so this is just what they're seeing here. But of course, in addition to vegetation that's not doing so well, of course, homes felt the brunt of this storm. I want to introduce you all to Stephen Weiner. He's a resident here. Um, thank you for joining us thank first you. off. Now, yes. I know that you've been here for, you know, a couple of times on and off, but you said that you guys actually wrote out the storm here. Yes. What was that like for you all? Well, it was um, very scary. We had gone through Charlie and very well, and, but this one was a magnitude uh, much more destructive. It lasted much longer and it, it, it damaged the house much more and basically three quarters of the garden, the vegetation is all gone. Mm -hmm. I feel very uh, fortunate um, because at least my house is mostly dry. Uh, yeah, soffits, gutters, panels, shingles, the, you know, the garden landscaping's all messed up. But looking around me, not only in this neighborhood, but in Fort Myers, Cape Coral, North Fort Myers, Naples, much worse in many areas. So I am blessed and I feel very bad for those people. And I'm lucky that I have my honor flight friends Mm -hmm. who found me a place to stay temporarily in Naples right. and who also accompanied me to see homebound, shut-in World War II veterans in North Fort Myers uh, and, uh, awesome. and Cape Coral. So it's, um, I'm just very lucky. Mm -hmm. You know, I do work at the VA as a physician. I go in there when I can and help out and see people. And um, I'm just... Uh, back today first time with the vehicle I came by boat a couple of times what was that like I know you said you did come by boat what yeah. was that experience in like and also what are your thoughts on finally being able to drive onto the island well uh, coming by boat the first time was uh, I was dropped off like a marine in two feet of water on, uh, on the beach and had to basically walk and bike to the residence the second time I was able to get to a dock but I still had about seven miles to ride Wow and um, you know, and, and, do, and in doing so, you saw all the destruction of all the businesses and the properties, and it's just a total mess. And it is, I mean, along with Fort Myers Beach and other areas I've seen, it's just uh, probably, I mean, the worst storm I've ever seen in this area. And, mm -hmm. um, and so we're back today. We brought back, like, lots of things. In the car, we could bring back stuff we might need, uh, supplies. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we have enough food and water to stay here a few days back and go back to Naples and come back here. But it's, uh, we, got, we got the dog, yeah. we got artificial turf for the dog because he likes to go on grass. There's no grass anymore. So we we're trying to good take, point. Thank, I think the dog is a very good therapeutic animal. He's very chill. Animal. <laughs> very chill. Very chill. Now, yeah. I do want to point out, now they, like I said, they did ride out the storm. If you guys take a look behind us, you can see they made the okay written that out so you know the helicopters are flying above they would know they were okay here but while their home didn't flood they did get some water in the garage you can see they have a hot tub that's not theirs that floated in they have a second hot tub that's on another area of their property so first and foremost we're just glad that you guys are okay and yes and thank you so much for joining us and sharing you know what it was like for you all I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.